Hi guys, in this video today I'm going to be fitting a new WOW water pressure switch. Reason being, I've been having some problems with the one I've got at the moment. I've found every so often the light over here will come on for a split second. In other words, saying that the pump's turned on. So how the system works effectively is your WOW pump in your Acrol gets plugged into here. The pressure switch then sends water pressure to your taps. And how it works is there's always pressure in your taps. The minute you turn the tap on, this will notice there's a drop in water pressure, turning your 12 volt pump on to feed more water in. So what I've been having is every so often it's been coming on, the pump's been turned on for a, a couple of seconds. And when you're watching TV, it's annoying, you'll hear it clicking, the light will come on, it, it's been driving me nuts. So I've looked all over around the water pipes to find any leaks by the taps because if there's water leaking, there'll obviously be a drop in pressure turning the pump on can't find no leak so I've looked into it and inside here sort of where the pump goes in you sometimes you've got, you've got these two o-rings I mean they're all fine they're not leaking but inside here there's a one-way valve so water can come in but it shouldn't be coming back out and I think the one-way valve on the one I've got at the moment is failing so water's coming in pressure to the taps are all fine but a minute leak is probably going back down to the act roll and that will cause, um, well, less pressure, making the switch to turn on to compensate. I'm also going to be talking about how to adjust your pressure switch today. Sometimes you might need to adjust it um, if you're on 12 volt and then go onto a mains pitch or vice versa. These are quite, they're voltage sensitive, which means every so often they do need adjustment. Yeah, in this video I'm going to be talking through how exactly we fit it and how to adjust it. So keep watching and hopefully we can sort the problem right so step one is you're gonna have to get under the seat underneath it flaps and in there you can see the water pressure switch i'm gonna put this torch on it there we go i'm gonna take this off and fit the new part and i'll go to the outside of the caravan now whilst i'm here guys when you pull off these wires remember what way they come off i'll put a bit of tape around um, one of them just so i know on the outside of the caravan, all you've got to do is lift it up with four screws. Right, so the new pressure switch I've put on. You had to see I cleaned off the old mastic and I've put new mastic on and then put the screws in. Not the tidiest job in the world but it's good enough for me and I'm pretty sure what was not going to be getting in there. So now I'm going to hook up the wires to the new one and then we'll get on to the next step. All the wires are in and I'm just going to show you how this water pipe connects on. It's literally a push-pull fixing so you just literally push it on and then that should be that can't come off now. That is on there, good. All right, so the new pressure switch is all fitted. The wires are in, so I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna turn 12 volt on. So now I'm gonna turn the wall pump on. Right, I'm gonna show you how to adjust the pressure switch. It'll be hard for me to run a bit fiddly to show you the one from under the seat. So I've got the old one here. And we'll go through it here. So you want to turn your water pump on, make sure there's power going to it on 12 volt, and then close all your taps. And you're gonna do you're gonna loosen this lock nut here, just so, and then the idea is that you can then turn with a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, you can turn this dial here, sort of like that, and this will control the pressure in the system, and then after you're done, you'll then lock this back down and that will hold it in its place. So this is how I'm going to do it. I've turned the pump off. I'm going to open this tap, sort of like that, about halfway. Put a screwdriver on here and I'm going to turn this nut ever so slightly until I hear the pump coming. And what you'll do, you'll hear this clicking, pulsating sound. Um, and you can probably see it in the taps, the water's pulsing through. And it's not quite stable yet. So what you do, you keep going, bit by bit, until there's a steady flow of water coming from the taps. You then go back to your tap, you close the tap, and then you come back to this pressure switch, and all you're doing is you're going to come and turn this back 180 degrees. 
something like that. That's pretty much it. Then you go back to your tap, and open it up, and make sure you've got a nice steady flow of water. So as you've just seen, I've um, turned the tap on, you can see the water was pulsating through and I slowly turned that nut and it made the water stable. So yeah, what I've done, I've come back here and I've just turned that nut anti-clockwise, 180 degrees and then I'm going to just tighten up that locking nut and that should be it, all good to go. And then you see a nice steady flow of water. So there we have it, it's all done. The pressure switch is all fitted, the taps are working fine. Um, I haven't had no pulsating or the light hasn't been coming on and off, which it has been. So I'm pretty sure it's all done. Um, so yeah, hopefully you might have found this video useful if you had similar problems. Um, but yeah, if you like these sort of videos, I'm gonna be doing some more other little bits and bobs. So yeah, please like and subscribe. Cheers.